This is Kayako Ota reporting from Tokyo. One thing that's particular to Japan is that the country is constantly facing the risk of natural disasters. Now we are approaching the rainy season June, so we have to prepare for storm, flood, and landslide in addition to earthquake. In the previous normal, a large number of refugees used to gather in one big space and spend days together, but that is obviously no longer possible. So how can we survive a refugee condition is a big concern to everyone now. We all fearing that no municipality has been prepared for the next big disaster. But one positive thing is that, as usual, the architect Shiger Ban was very quick to move. Immediately after Japan entered a mild lockdown in the mid-April, he devised a system of sheltering homeless people individually, which is a partition unit made of paper pipes and curtains. He consulted with an epidemiologist to define the specs and also devised a way of seaming curtains airtight. So now 90 units are already installed and used in a public gym in Yokohama City. And I think that this kind of action is needed in all parts of the country. The tourism industry has been severely hit under the stay home regime. Some innkeepers have invented remote tourist programs. I think that is not only Japan, but for instance, you can visit an inn in a remote countryside and the innkeeper will navigate you to the charms and hidden places in the area all online. With such a program, you get to know and enjoy what you would have never have come across before. You have probably seen this crazy scene of Japanese trains literally packed with businessmen and businesswomen. When Tokyo went under the stay home regime, the craziness finally calmed down after maybe a hundred years. According to a recent survey, more than 60% of workers in Tokyo have adopted a remote work system, which is amazing. Trains used to be packed because of the commuters' strong loyalty to companies or organizations that they belong to. And most organizations have tried to be in the city center and made everyone be together at the same time. But this tradition and even the value system of the whole society was suddenly forcibly terminated. I think the physical new order of social distance will inevitably shift the mind of people and that the society's value altogether into decentralization or localization. The heavy concentration in the urban core which supported the economic rise of Tokyo and also Japan for the past 75 years at least, is finally making a turn. People are beginning to talk about the need of changing the strategy of high-rise buildings and large-scale developments in the central Tokyo. Investment for ever taller, ever more concentrated construction was already escalating anyway, hitting the limit, but that will inevitably lose momentum. I think in general, urban redevelopment will be reorganized to decentralize. This is a major shift. Second, along with decentralization, local neighborhood will become a focus of a new kind of development, I think. One of the important issues to tackle with is the increasing population of singles in the population, people living by themselves which is an issue also being worked on by the CCA, I understand, for the forthcoming exhibition and publication. And this uh, issue is closely linked to the changing structure of family and neighborhood uh, in general. For some time, we have been talking about the necessity to decompose this independent family-based society, but now the necessity to integrate singles and the elderly and other challenged people or minorities in the neighborhood, decomposing the rigid structure is even greater. 